What's going on YouTube? Guys, can come at you with another Final Fantasy Rookie Pro Retro video. If you guys aren't joining, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. Alright, so, um, I didn't realize these bands were ending so quickly, so I'm gonna have to edit and render this immediately. Um, let's do the triple, uh, burst blast, uh, phase one. Uh, each band has three burst soul breaks, and, um, it's just a new festival right now. We have a new event going on with it as well. Let's get right into this. First up, we have the Oversoul for Tifa, 128 attack. Can just see for Soulbreak to Meteor Crusher. Those eight physical earth attacks on one target grant haste and burst mode to the user temporarily infuse the user with power of earth. So N Earth and um you know eight hit um earth attacks on one target. Again, we don't have too many earth attacks, so I think this is quite nice. Um it doesn't really surprise me that Tifa gets earth over any other element, because I don't know, I feel like monks just naturally have a a tone a what, alignment, maybe. Elemental Affinity? Is that what I mean? With with Earth? Because I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anyway, the two uh, commands are Falcon's Dive. Deals two physical Earth attacks. Are not, two physical Earth, Earth and elemental attacks at all targets. Not bad. And Elbow Smash. Oh, that sounds painful. We want to smash someone's elbow. Jesus. And then that deals four Earth and elemental attacks on one target. So pretty standard. Um, I feel like most offensive soul, uh, burst soul breaks... The two, like the two attacks, going to be very similar. Um, it's either it's usually one one a one two hit AOE and then one four hit single target. So not much I can say, but in the way of that, um, and this doesn't have any secondary effects, so it's not too bad. I think it's like the third monk soul break that we have or burst soul break that we have. Not too sure why it's called meteor crusher though. That's not one of Tifa's. Uh... Ah, well, hmm, I don't know. It could be because uh, clouds burst is Fenrir drive. And he had Fenrir and Advent Children, so it's possible. This is this is from somewhere I don't know. Next up, we have the Blitz for Jet. It is a Blitz Ball, so again, limited usage, but that's fine. Uh, changes Jet Soul Break to Final Transformation. Deals eight physical dark attacks to random targets. Uh, grant Burst Mode and uh, End Dark. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, Jet is a Darkness Monk. Um, it makes sense because he was taken over by Yu Yevin. Uh, jet stream, <laughs> jet stream. God damn it! There's four uh, range dark and elemental attacks to one target. Jet bomber deals two range dark and elemental attacks to all targets. Again, generic, uh, generic burst commands here. It's also worth noting that the um, the types. I've said this once before, but you can use like the record material that increases the damage from these, like like thirty percent per monk or like since double cast monk abilities. I'm pretty sure those work with the burst command as well. So there is that as well. Next up, Lila 4. Um, Bart Super Soul, Bart, Bart's Burst Soul Break. I don't really want to go over this in too much detail because we go over this quite a lot. Uh, 125 attack, changes Bart Soul Break to Lila 4. Deals 6 physical attacks on one target. Grants Burst Mode. Uh, flurry Storm, 4 physical win uh, wind and water attacks on one enemy. Then Flurry Blast is 4 fire and earth attacks on one enemy. Um, I think Flurry Storm would probably be your best bet more often because water is, I believe, the least resisted element. Um, so I think if you're not sure what to use, you could just click Flurry Storm. Uh, otherwise, you should uh, either know your the boss's weakness or uh, not use the Soul Break in the first place. But if you're using the Soul Break, you probably know the weakness because you're going for a Spell Blade attacks. It's really good though if you're trying to hit Elemental Weakness for a boss that has multiple ones trying to fill the conditions. Next up, we have the Omni Rod for your Stola. 55 attack, 100 magic, 125 mine. Then your Stola Soul Break to ethereal pulse grants protega shelga and major region all allies i really like this one although um initially i didn't like it because i was like not to I have to carry this with wall um you know it'll just be like which one do i want to use more i think that actually this would be the the soul work that i want most off of this banner to be honest um because this frees up two slots well basically just one slot and um because i'm usually bring you're usually bringing protega or shelga anyway so i just freeze up a slot in your white mage uh, so you have that. It also gives major region. That's quite nice. And um, yeah, it's just a really nice thing overall. And like worst case now, I could just like Roman Warrior Wall or something else. Or like you bring a damaging ability on your Stola so that she can, um, I can build up my Soul Break faster so I can wall um, relatively quick. Because she actually has a quite a quite a diverse uh, move set. Next up, we have the Sphere. <sighs> sphere Rai? I Sphere A Rai. Sphera, that just sounds weird to say. I'm probably saying that wrong, but whatever. 
126 attack changes Yuta Soul Break to Twin Snake Dragon Kick. Do 6 physical attacks to one target and Burial lower its defensive larger amount and raise the party's attack a moderate amount. So it sounds like, um, wait, what? I was going to say Steel Power, but it lowers, it lowers the defense and then raises the party's attack. Wait a minute, that's not Steel Power. Um, this is interesting, at the very least. Um, actually, I like this for a Monk ability, or Monk Soul Break. Uh, usually it's just raise the attack, doesn't really lower the defense, so that has a potential for a pretty high DPS. Uh, I don't know how Yida's skill set, I don't remember it off the top of my head, uh, so she might not be the best monk, but, you know, pretty interesting soul break. Next up, we have the green megaphone for Kate Sith. 81 attack, 105 magic, 120 mind, to indicate the soul break to Moogle Dance. Oh, this is also an instrument, so again, limited usage there, but if you equip it to your roaming warrior Ramza, you get a longer, uh... Longer shout duration, so uh, be sure to do that. Then very low of the attack, magic, defense, and resistance of all enemies, large amount, and grant major regional allies. Um, I don't really like this one, to be honest, because to me, this is just an oral glorified uh, break fever. Oh, that's not what his English name is. Multi-break. But they just add, they added in uh, major region. Um, if you have this, obviously, you'd want to use this um, over, um, over multi-break because you get the major region as well. I don't know how long this lasts, so I think this might last a little bit shorter duration than, um, than multi-break, I'm not sure. Um, I know it's not mind, I know it's time-based, that's all I know. Uh, I'm not sure. The region is definitely mind-based, though. Next up, we have the Chaos Blade. Uh, for a Gabranth, 127 attack. This small boost of dark damage, it isn't bad. This is Gabranth so back to a Fulminating Oblivion. There's four ranged dark attacks on all targets with high chance to interrupt depending actions. Uh, as usual, high chance is basically 100%, except for the part where some bosses might be immune to interrupt, so they can't, like, they like they just have to cover their base to just say a high chance, because if the boss is immune, then it actually just won't interrupt. Um, the fact it's ranged dark attacks and has a high chance to interrupt um, all the targets depending actions, I think that's really amazing. Um, because, like, if you're in, like, the most recent Final Fantasy VI event, uh, what was it, the Hedon, and, I don't remember, like, the, the big, the big ugly looking dude with the four little minions, um, all of them were susceptible to interrupt, so you just interrupt them, and then, you know, continue on your merry way, except for the part where you have to knock their HP to zero, so you can't really continue on. Rustic, no! Every time I'm recording. <laughs> Damn it, Rustic. Next up, we have the Ichigeki for Shadow, 114 attack, 71 magic, uh, it's one chance to instantly KO, change the Shadow Soul, Soul Fang, change the Shadow Soul Break to Shadow Fang, it was 8 instant physical attacks on one target, enable the user to evade 2 physical attacks, uh, this is actually one of the best Soul Breaks ever, one of the best Super Soul Breaks ever, another flumper, uh, because, um, it's instant cast, so it's high DPS, and it, uh, and it gives you uh, mitigation for two physical attacks. Unfortunately, it doesn't for the entire party. But a Shadow is kind of a loner, so I would assume like he would like fight alone and stuff like that. So that I guess that makes sense from a Final Fantasy VI perspective. I'm not sure. Never really played VI. I know that uh, you have the option to let Shadow die. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, pretty cool in the sense that like you can you can kind of alter if one of the main if one of the main characters dies in a Final Fantasy game, I, th I thought I think that's pretty cool. Not the part where he dies, because I, I I don't know this man. I don't I probably don't want him to die. Seems like a nice guy, and he has a dog. Um, but yeah, this has the potential to be one of the highest DPS uh, Super Soul Breaks. Um, I'm not sure what else is up there. I think it's like one of the, one of Kane's like Dragon Dive or something like that. No, that's that's it's just a five star. I don't remember his Kane Soul Break, but. Finally, we have the Titan's Gloves. Titan's? Titan's Gloves for Galoof, 126 attack. And Galoof Solberg to Unshaken Resolve. There's four physical attacks on one target. Move all buffs and debuffs on the user, temporarily granting invulnerable. What? Granting invulnerable and raising the attack in large amount. Shouldn't that say invulnerability? What? I mean, alright, whatever. I know what they mean, so I guess it doesn't matter. That just sounds a little bit weird to me. Anyway, um, this is good. Galoof becomes invincible for, uh, 
Blue becomes invisible for a short time, and um, he gains an attack boost. Uh, this is much like I think his first Soul Break, where I went over this before as well, where he just gets the invincible status, but um, he doesn't get the attack boost. That's quite nice. Um, I don't really much have to say about it. Gloof isn't really the best character to use. So if you don't have this, I don't think you, many people would be using Gloof. Anyway, let's get this 100 gem draw. And, uh, oh, we also have guaranteed 5 stars now. So you can see always um, oh, one or more 5 stars. So if you want to start drawing 5 stars now, would be the time. I don't think I'd really be drawing anything outside of my 100 gem draws for these banners. Because nothing really uh, entices me. Uh, last time I looked, so... Let's be doing my 100 gem jars, getting uh, five three stars and calling it a day. Or maybe four three stars. No, yeah, four three stars and a four star. Yeah, all right, see? Already true. Or rather, one, one three star came true. I, I don't have the other four yet. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I think another phase starts later tonight, so I'm going to have to edit and render this really quick. And, um,. Yeah, it should be up later tonight. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to support and do enjoy reading your comments. Be sure to share these videos around with your friends that enjoy uh, Final Fantasy as it really helps me out with leaving a like. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media link down below, including the Discord where we get together to talk about Final Fantasy and various other things. And I will see you guys next time. Later.